That's right. And Albert is. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, George Kirby on the mound tonight. We get back after it. Uh, last night's game kind of had a weird feel to it for me. Felt like the first uh, three or four innings, it was guys that hadn't been around for three or four days trying to, to get going. And obviously, they had a couple of home runs early and uh, quite enough at the end to tie it up. So, um, again, the goal is to win the series, but I get the game tonight. Uh, so, it should, should be a good one. I'll take any questions. Obviously, Julio seems fine. You pulled your breath there for a few minutes going to check Yeah, him. I mean, he's he's okay. He's a little uh, sore. His ankle got caught or whatever on the slide in. But, uh, you know, he's okay. Came in every day, got treatment. He's in the lineup. He'll be good to go. He's obviously been made an adjustment with his slides. Going feet first. Is that something you encourage or just something that like, obviously help him along? And, you know, no, I mean, you know, yeah. it's something he talked about. He had the, the wrist and back issues when he was sliding head first. Um, you know, I'll tell you one thing, as big and fast as he gets going, the second baseman just don't hang in there like they used to. You see him jumping out of the way of the ball's not right there, uh, as they should. Uh, and also, he's had a couple plays at the plate, and he does it correctly. At the plate, too, he slides right to the plate. You see so many times guys try to slide around the catcher, they slide past the plate, and they're going to take it with their hand. And too many times you're out, you just hit the plate with your foot. So, um, no, I think it's been a good thing. Let's tell you the athletes from practice today, where they're out at different positions, is that something we've done before? I never so they've done it all the time. I mean, yeah, Ryan, you're always late. You no, I mean, like, <laughs> you show up about 10 minutes late. So I know, I didn't see it. I haven't seen it before. Sure. Um, no, just, you know, every so often you got to do that. Yeah, we do it. Um, you know, did a couple times in the first half. It's something that I've always done right after the All-Star break. So, I mean, you know, obviously get them out moving them around a little bit, but then the comebackers making the throws to the bases. A couple of our young pitchers get to work on their pickoff, move to first. Um, it's something they haven't worked on a lot. So give you an opportunity to do those things and support the goal. It's, it's different, obviously, controlling the running game is a different game than the used to control the rules. Where are you guys at in terms of controlling the running game and trying to help you? Yeah, some guys obviously are more aware of what's going on. I thought, uh, like Bryce Miller comes up, Bryce Miller does a nice job of holding the ball. He's very comfortable holding it as the clock ticks down. And sometimes that can freeze runners. Um, you know, we've done a better job at second base holding guys. I still think we have room for growth there uh, to give our catchers a fair, fair shot of throwing guys out. Too many times, guys just they get so locked in on the hitter, they're not paying enough attention there. But especially the guys that can run. I think the guys that can run, we do play a pretty good job of attention to. It's the medium average runners. Oh, this guy's not going to run. You know, last time we got caught on a really steal too, too often. Javi Baez did it. He executed perfectly. You know, just enough time for middle infielders our heads down. He gets get the catcher back on his heels a little bit. And it works. Yeah. Some of your guys just aren't going to be fast. I mean, like, no, Logan is like, but he's, he's way, he's gotten way better than he used to. Logan, Logan for sure, dude, he's like one five and one six in the plane. He's down to one three range right now. He's very serviceable, and he holds the ball in this. Speaking of Brian, is he going to be able to pitch to Barn? Miller. Yeah. Uh, it's a good chance. It's a good chance. He's not on our roster right now. He's on our roster. So, uh, but I, all things are pointing towards him being able to make a start tomorrow. Of course, we'll have to make a roster move after the game today to make that spot open. So, seems healthy. The throw both bends. He's ready to go. Scott, do you ever play with a guy who used a split grip at the plate? Uh, yes. I've seen a few. Uh, played with him. Um, or, or against. this fine. Yeah, Miguel Cairo was the first guy I ever saw do it. Uh, Nelson Cruz did yeah. it at times. Uh, was his, did he just more kind of mess with it every once in a while? Nelly? Yeah. Uh, there's a reason guys are doing it. You know, it kind of gets you through the ball. It's one of those things that works great in the cage. And it flips. And then all okay. of a sudden somebody says, oh, I'm going to try this in a game. And they do it. They probably get a hit. <laughs> and somebody else says, why does he do that? Um, and we've had a, a few guys mess with their grips a little bit. Tom Murphy's made a big adjustment with his grip. Uh, and it's really helped him take some attention uh, out of his swing. And, and uh, so it's, guys are always trying different things, get a different feel for the bat and how to handle it better. So, uh, But hobbies last night was about as far as split as I've seen a guy in a long, long time. Yeah. Yes. U.S. Tension? Murphy? U.S. Tension? <laughs> talk to him. Be careful. <laughs> Anything else? Good.